Thank you for tuning in for the review of the best products available today. These models were chosen from a large variety of products based on their overall performance and review of thousands of consumers that have purchased them through countless hours of research, side-by-side -side comparisons. It's believed that the following products are indeed the best on the market today. Please take a moment to follow the product links listed below to each product for more information. Sit back and relax while you watch the best highly recommended products for this year. Anybody that's ever hunted whitetail deer during the peak of the rut realizes how important it is to be able to sit all day. And that's why I like the Summit Goliath SD in this situation. It has a wider top, which allows me a little bit more room to spread out. And that's also perfect for large framed hunters. And it comes in at only 21 pounds, so it's still easy to pack. And let's face it, that padded seat is second to none in the industry. The Summit Goliath SD gives you maximum room and maximum comfort for those all day sits. These are the instructions for the Lone Wolf climbing platforms. First, install the climbing base. Step one, loosen the torque knobs. Pull the hinge washer inward, then push hinge forward to the end of the slot. Retighten the knobs. Unlatch the cam, pull the belt from the tube and place around the tree. Adjust the stand platform slightly higher in the front end. Insert belt back into tube. Note, warning, point of arrow marks the end of the belt. No part of the arrow should be showing after cams are engaged. Failure to follow the instructions may cause the belt to disengage and cam to open. Now, relatch the cams firmly. Now you're ready to install the top section of your climber. For the hand climber, flip the tubes over so they rest on the side ledges of the seat casting. Now connect your stabilizer straps. Warning: The stabilizer straps must be connected before leaving the ground and must always remain connected while the tree stand is in use. You're ready to attach your harness rope to the tree and step onto the platform. Step 3. Support weight onto the climbing aid. Place feet under the hinges and bar as shown. Step 4. Apply slight pressure to hinge with inside of foot. Bend at knees to disengage stand. Step 5. Keeping one foot under the hinge bar, step back onto the center of the stand with the other foot to secure in place. Slide the harness rope up the tree to an appropriate height. Disengage the climbing aid, raise, and repeat the process. Step 6. When you reach your desired height or when the platform becomes level, adjust your harness rope height so it is tight while in a sitting position. Now, while in a sitting position, pull your stabilizing straps tight. These are the climbing instructions for the Alpha Hand Climber and the Alpha Sit and Climb. This is the demonstration for the Alpha Hand Climber using the new sit strap. Take the sit strap around your backside and attach the carabiner to the seat casting. With your feet placed under the hinge and bar on the platform, support your weight, then raise the platform up. Adjusting the seat casting up, and again, 
supporting your weight on the sit strap, and then raising the platform. Always remember to raise your tree strap as you move up the tree. Continue this process until you are at your desired hunting height. Well, we've selected our tree for our lone wolf sit and climb. What I want to show you is how to take the sit and climb from the pack position to get it assembled, ready to put on the base of the tree. So what we're going to do, undo our bungee cord. You always want to keep that bungee cord in your, your pocket or in your pack. Not to leave it on the ground, you'll be looking for it later. We'll start with the base. What you want to do is loosen your hinge knobs. Lift up on the stabilizer bar with your thumbs, push, push the hinge knobs into place. Tighten them down as tight as you can. You want to make sure what we call the top hat is seated in that mill slot. There's a little um, round spot face there. Make sure that's seated snug and tighten it as tight as you can by hand. The base is ready to mount on the tree. The top section is going to work the same way. You're going to loosen your hinge knobs, slide them up the arms into the upright position. Again, the top hat, seat it in the mill slot, hand tighten them as tight as you can. Now the top section is ready to be mounted on the tree as well. So the next thing we're going to show you is how to mount the sit and climb to the tree, and then after that, we'll show you how to climb with it. Well, now that we've got our sit and climb in the upright position, we're ready to mount it onto the tree. We're gonna start with the base. You're gonna take your traction belt out. Take it around the tree and back in. Lock it in with your cam. Again, you wanna make sure that the orange arrow on the traction belt is all the way into the tube so you can't see the orange arrow on the traction belt. I'll show you that. The orange arrow on the end of each traction belt, that's what you, you do not want to see once it's inside the tube. It's really important when you start out at the base of the tree to pitch your platform in a slightly upward position like I've got here. It's going to be more severe if the tree tapers more, so what you're doing is compensating for that taper as you climb because once that platform levels out, that's where you're going to hunt from. Okay, now that our base is hung, we're going to hang the top section to the sit and climb. You're going to take the traction belt around the tree. Again, make sure that the arrow goes all the way into the tube so there's no orange arrow showing. Again, you're going to want to pitch the front lip of this stand up in the air so to compensate for the taper on the tree. The next step is going to be to take your stabilizer straps. What we do is you want to make sure you adjust the stabilizer straps out as far as you can to create as much travel room as possible so when you're climbing the tree they don't bottom out. But these stabilizer straps are very important. If the bottom section did get away from you, it'll keep it from falling all the way to the ground. You know, a question that's asked a lot is, on a sit and climb, how do you get the seat pad out of your way when you're climbing? I'll show you how to do that. On the back of the seat, there's actually the strap that goes around the tree. What I do is I simply take it over the top of the hinge, hinge arms and down around the frame in front of the seat. By doing this, I can actually fold the seat cushion up so it's actually up out of my way when I'm climbing so I can see my feet underneath the hinge arms on the base. Okay, now we've got the sit and climb hung on the tree. The seat pad is actually in the folded position so it's back out of your way. Now the most important thing when you're hunting from an elevated position is to make sure you tether yourself to the tree before you ever leave the ground. So as you can see, I've got my tree strap around the tree. I'm gonna climb into my stand now. raising my top section up. I'm going to move my tree strap as high as I can or as high as I can reach on the tree and I'm going to climb to it. 
I'm going to repeat this process as I go up the tree, always trying to keep my tree strap, strap as high as possible as I'm climbing. So my stabilizer straps are loose. I'm going to utilize my sit bar. Sit on my sit bar. I'm going to stick my feet underneath the hinge arms below the stabilizer bar. By rocking my ankles forward, pointing my toes down, I can disengage the traction belt from the tree, raise the platform, always standing up or stepping into the platform to seat it against the tree before you start to climb with your top section. Now I'm ready to take my top section, raise it as well, sit on my sit bar again, my feet go under the hinge arms, rocking my ankles forward, disengage the traction belt, seat the platform firmly, go through the same motion again with the top section. Again, you're going to want to raise your tree strap, strap on the tree and climb to it. Now that we're up into the hunting position, we're going to adjust the seat to the height that we want. What I do is lower the seat all the way so I can step over my sit bar, then bring it back up to the height that I want. I'm going to detach my seat. Now I can go around the tree with my tree strap for my back rest. One thing that's very important is always making sure that the strap on the back of your seat cushion is below the traction belt. This way if you sit down in the seat and it tugs on it, it doesn't pull your traction belt down. Once you've got it set, you're going to grab your stabilizer straps. At the same time, you're going to cinch those down snug. Don't over tighten them, but snug them. And what that's going to do, it's going to make that top section rock solid. Okay, we're all done hunting with our lone wolf sit and climb. Now I want to show you how to safely climb back down to the ground with your sit and climb. And when we're done with that, I've got a couple tips regarding the seat cushion that can help your all day hunts be a lot more comfortable. We're going to start by undoing our seat cushion here. Take the strap off around the tree. Again, just to get this seat cushion up out of your way, we're going to go down around the frame around the front of this seat. Adjust your stabilizer straps, create as much slack as possible. When doing this, you always want to lift up on the buckle and pull through. Never grab the tail and just pull up on it. You can break those buckles. They're not weight bearing. I'm going to lower the top section so I can easily step through my sit bar. I'm going to lower my tree strap from the tree. I'm going to sit on my sit bar, sticking my feet underneath the hinge arms, rotating my ankles again, stepping back on the platform, bringing the top section down, repeating this process. Now to talk about some of those comfort tips. I had mentioned earlier. The Lone Wolf seat cushion on the sit and climb is designed with specific things in mind. If you adjust your seat cushion properly, it's just going to hover over the top of your sit bar. What this enables you to do is sit on the sit bar bearing your weight underneath your legs across the sit bar rather than the webbing on the side pulling in on the side of your thighs. What we've got is a buckle, side release buckle underneath the seat that simply clips into the sit bar to hold it in place. Trust me, if you make these proper adjustments, it's going to make your all day sits that much more comfortable. Okay, we talked about comfort. Now I want to just spend some time on function. The one thing that's really neat about this sit and climb is if you've got an approaching deer and you want to step back against the tree to break up your silhouette, you can simply push back with the back of your leg on the sit bar. The seat is designed with the fold right here that'll fold it up back up against the tree, allowing you to break up your silhouette closer to the trunk of the tree. Hi folks, in this video, we're gonna be talking about run and gun style hunting or a mobile setup. 
Now, when most people think of mobile setups, they turn to climbers immediately. And not to take away from climbers, they're great, and Lone Wolf offers a full line of climbers that are both lightweight, packable, low profile. Um, it's gonna get the job done if you're in a region that has a lot of straight trees that are conducive to climbing. Here in the Midwest, um, we don't have a lot of those straight trees. So if, if you're a public land hunter, um, pay close attention and be open-minded to this because we can be just effective with a hang-on and a set of climbing sticks as you can with your climber. The downside to a climber though is you're cutting branches. When you're in a hang and hunt scenario, cutting those branches is gonna make somewhat of a disturbance when those branches are hitting the ground or even just sawing through them. Some public land does not allow for you to actually cut branches. So we can actually get into those twisted timber areas with a hang on and a set of climbing sticks without the need to cut branches. In fact, we use them to our advantage as backdrop and oftentimes we'll find ourselves hunting at a lower elevation because we've got good concealment and good breakup around us. What, what I wanna to touch on here and talk to you about is the lone wolf setup for mobile hunting and the hang and hunt scenario has some really unique features. Um, let's start with the climbing sticks. Um, the Lone Wolf Climbing Sticks has a patented pivoting V-bracket, which is unlike any other stand on the market. What this does for you is when you get in those situations where you've got a tree that's got some lean to it, or it's got some twist or undulation to the trunk of that tree, the V-bracket is literally gonna pivot to force itself into two solid points of contact. That means a very solid bite on the tree. It's gonna be rock solid and sturdy. That stick is gonna hang straight even though your tree leans or has some crookedness to it. Um, along with the features on our hang-ons, you've got the leveling system on the post for the cables. Um, if you've got a tree that leans back, you can adjust the cables to level your platform. The seat also levels to mimic the pitch of your platform. And then probably most important in this, this situation is what we call the offset bracket, or some people refer to it as a bat wing. What this little mechanism does is it allows left to right leveling. If you've got a tree that leans left or right, you're gonna offset this bracket to the far two points of contact, whether it's far two right points or the far two left points of contact. And what that's gonna allow you to do is hang perfectly straight even though you have a tree that runs at an angle. So with that being said, this system, we're fast, we're efficient, we're super quiet and we can get into almost any situation which is gonna allow you both on your private property and in a public land scenario to go where you have to go and especially public land, when, when you're competing with those other guys for those same group of mature deer, they're stranded to those hardwood ridges watching the deer at a distance, you're right there in the action with this setup and it just adds to your arsenal to where you have every option and opportunity to take advantage of things. So um, there's some other videos on the website that, that talk about this situation and there's one video that shows how to hang and hunt with one trip up the tree using our hang on either the assault or the alpha and our climbing sticks. Very good video to watch and in some of these other video segments we'll break down some specifics on the V bracket, the offset bracket and how to level these stands. But be open minded again, watch those videos and see for yourself how effective this system can be and good luck hunting. This is the Summit Viper SD. It's a full frame sit down stand up climber that weighs 20 pounds. It comes with padded zippered arm pads. The seat's padded, fully adjustable with a two cushion seat back. Comes with your rapid climb stirrups, elastic backpack straps, and also filled with sound deadening foam. The reason they call it a sit down stand up climber is so you can sit out on the front rail as you're pulling up your standing platform to make the process easier. You can just sit down and then stand up and work your way up the tree.